Hey, happy Monday morning, uh, CC3 Math 8 students. Um, today, we are going to redo this. Hey, good morning, uh, CC3 Math 8 students. Um, it is Monday morning, and we are continuing our Pythagorean Theorem unit. Uh, this unit will be done on Wednesday of this week. So if you want to work ahead and complete the last three, um, this, we've got three more left. Uh, be my guest. There is no unit test at the end of the Pythagorean Theorem one. Uh, you already took your quiz on Friday, and that will be the only summative that comes from this one. So we will have a, a unit test, though, after our next unit, I believe it is. So here's what we got for you. Um, Pythagorean Theorem, finding perimeter, using Pythagorean theorem, uh, theorem to find the perimeter. So let's get started. Here's our first example right here. So you're going to notice this little distance, one, two, three, four, five, that distance is pretty easy to find. That's a distance of five, which means up here, this also has a distance of five going here. The problem is the slant height right here. We don't know what that height is, but you might notice that if we go from this point down here all the way up to this point up here, oops, this clicking is going really well, can't you tell? That this whole thing right here makes a perfect right triangle, meaning we can use our Pythagorean theorem to figure out the distance of this side. So. We know that this is a distance of 5. We know from this corner here, straight up and down to this corner here, that we have a height of 12. So we can take our Pythagorean Theorem, which you know how to do by now. We can go 5 squared plus 12 squared is c squared. So 25 plus 145, 144 is c squared. 25 plus 144 is 169. Remember to get rid of that c squared and get it down to a c. We need to take the square root of both of those. Square root of 169 is 13. The square root of c squared is just c because the square and the square root cancel each other. That means our distance over here is a distance of 13. Well, if the distance of this side angle is 13 and we have a perfect parallelogram here, that means the side angle of this one is 13, which means we can now find our perimeter. 13 plus 13 is 26, 5 plus 5 is 10, 26 plus 10 is 36 units. So you're just finding the length of each side, add up all the sides, and you've got your perimeter. All right, example number two right over here, okay? So you're going to notice here we have this nice little uh, trapezoid going on here. So we know the distance across the bottom is a distance of nine. We also know this little distance on top is a distance of one. Problem is we don't know this slant height right here, and we don't know this slant height. The fortunate thing is this is a nice little line. I'm trying to get my dots to appear again. This is going so well, can't you tell? Hey, there we go, finally. So from here over to here is a distance of four, and then we go up a distance of three, so we have a nice little right triangle. By the way, you might notice this one is up three and over four. So that means that this slant height right here is the exact same thing as this slant height right here. So let's use our Pythagorean theorem to solve for this. Okay. We've got three squared plus four squared or nine plus 16 is 25. And as we take the square root of both sides, we get C to equal five. That means this side equals five. That means this side also equals 5. 1 plus 9 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. And that is how you find the perimeter using the Pythagorean Theorem for all these shapes. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, it's just this con for Monday. Um, good luck to you all. And if you have any questions, I will see you on Google Hangouts. Hey, we've got one week done, and we're already starting the next day of this distance learning. It's not going so bad. Hope you're enjoying it. Bye-bye.